66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated with you Zachary didn't get his homework done. It's Friday, so we're getting it all done, huh, Zach? Last minute homework. No, nothing's complicated with you. Hey, playing songs on the video. Sing along to the words that we don't know how. Brings out the robbers. All right, so here's my breakfast. One egg. And then I have my oatmeal and my water. And this fills me up for quite a while. So I try to hold off eating till as late as possible. I don't really do intermittent fasting technically, but hold off as long as I can and then I'll make breakfast. A lot of people ask me, how do you pray the rosary while cleaning? And so what I'll do is I will just, I have these on my main channel. I have rosaries, so all four mysteries. And so I'll play that while I'm doing dishes. I love that my sink is right here. And I have these stickers that I got off of Etsy. And then, I don't know if you could see past the Nerf gun, but that's Mother Mary. So I can just kind of meditate here. I really like mine, because my rosaries, because there's a big picture that lets you know what mystery you're on. So anyway, so that's what I will do in the morning. And then, after I'm done cleaning the dishes, I will do the whole floor. I'll sweep uh, the floors. And so that way it's just like a really nice clean house as soon as the kids leave and the rest of the day is really peaceful. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes And I also have these all over where the kids can just like put them on the window But I have a lot of them and the kids just love them So you want to go put those on the window? While I clean, she messes. Are you messing everything up? <laughs> Are you playing? I put all the toys that go downstairs in there and she is now undoing it. But look at this, I have a clean kitchen. Nothing better than having a clean kitchen in the morning. Okay, then after dishes, I will kind of just do a quick cleanup of the rest of the house. Um, so at night, we have where um, I'll read with Bella. This she's in kindergarten, so she's just kind of learning to read. This book is actually really good. Um, I got it for Zachary when I homeschooled him, and it's really good. She's been doing awesome on that, and then she needs a little help with math too. So I bought these little books and that. So at night we kind of just do a little bit of work at this table. This is kind of their art table, so. In here I have paper for the kids so they can just kind of go in there and get like paper if they need it 
And so the kids will draw and um, look at this. Isn't that cute? Um, this is Zachary. I find little things like this all the time with Zachary. It's so sweet. I just, I'm going to keep these forever. But this is Jesus, it looks like. Uh, the Last Supper, this is my body. And it says donkey, random. <laughs> um, oh, and then Jesus carrying the cross. Oh my goodness. It just, it warms my heart to see little stuff like this. So um, I'm going to see what he wants to do with that. Otherwise, I will, I'll keep that. Um, so anyway, then usually I'll have paper there. And I'll kind of clean up the rest of the house. Just kind of get things in order. still playing. Oh, you let me clean. Some days she doesn't, some days she does. I've been so selfish and made you believe. All right, so that's kind of what I do in the morning. So the first like two hours, one to two hours, I will just clean, clean, clean. I'll let Maria kind of do her thing. I'll do my rosary while I do the dishes and it's just really amazing. And then I'll go up and I will get dressed. I'll get um, some makeup on, I'll do my hair. And I usually like read books to Maria. So that's like what I usually do. And then on days that it's nice out, we'll go for a walk. Uh, today it's pretty rainy, I'll show you. It's pretty rainy out today. So I think we're gonna go to the thrift store after I get ready. And so I'll kind of take you with me um, to the thrift store and yeah, just walk you through the rest of the day. Ooh, I just don't know what to do if you go. Okay, so we are getting ready to go. And these are the bowls we're gonna go look at. We're going to the thrift store, they just opened. So we're gonna go to the thrift store and maybe I'll take you guys with me, but these are the bowls I'm looking for. These are kind of hard to find. Got them a long time ago and so we have broken several of them. So I'm just trying to find some other ones that kind of match these ones so we can stack them. So that's the main thing. We'll probably look through books and toys and shoes. They have so many great shoes, like almost brand new shoes for kids, which is great because my kids go through shoes uh, for school and stuff like that. So um, they usually have really good shoes there. So I'll probably take you along because it's really fun. I love thrift store shopping. Um, and yeah, let's see what we find. Sleep when things run dry I'm empty. I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering How far did you go in seven months Hey guys, okay, so I went to the thrift store and I got some goodies, so I thought I'd just share it with you because I always love hauls and it's so funny because if I go shopping ever and show my husband, he's like, okay. <laughs> Whereas if I show my sisters and my mom, they always want to see everything. So I'm like, you know what, let's just do that. I'll show you. Um, I don't know if you guys go thrift store shopping, but it's really all I do now just because of how expensive everything is. And where we go is just, there's so much, like there's a lot. So we just kind of take what the things that would be helpful for our family. Maria got some new shoes. These are the next size up. So I got her some little shoes. They have so many shoes at this thrift store. So, you know, it's funny because I feel like some th thrift stores get a ton of stuff and others don't. So these I thought were great for Zachary um, for school because he has to wear kind of nicer shoes for school. So I got those for him because his are like pretty worn out. So I was really excited to see those. And then I got some church shoes for Maria Grace. And these are the next size up as well. So that'll be good for her. So I got a couple dresses for the girls. This one's nice because it's lightweight, but it's a dress. 
and I like the long sleeves too because in our church it's pretty cold. And then I got this cute little shirt too for Maria Grace. So it's kind of nice because they stain their clothes so quickly. If you have little kids, you know what I'm talking about. So I like getting like things at thrift stores that, you know, they're not too expensive because everything gets stained if you like so and then i got this dress i thought it was so cute for bella she had a little white cardigan with it she is a dress girl so even at, when she gets home from school she just wants to like put on dresses she's such a girly girl i love it i used to really be like that too just love wearing dresses and then this is for maria i got this little shirt for maria same reason you know she keeps growing out of all of her clothes so and then I got some books my boys are obsessed with these these are the Guinness world record books and these are like normally like almost yeah 30 bucks this was four bucks so I was like super pumped about that but they'll like just sit there for hours and just read about it my kids really want a dog so I thought this was a fun little book it like goes into like each dog and kind of talks about dogs in like for little kids these books are awesome i find these all the time at the thrift store my kids will just sit around and read them and so i'm like heck yeah and this one is very similar this one's all about reptiles and my kids will just like ugh, sit and read them but i'm like hey this i love these these are the saint joseph um books and where i go i find so many catholic books so definitely check out your thrift store for like i found like really good like catholic bible study and it was like hardcore really really good one so and it was like i don't know how much but very good so i find a lot of catholic things all right and this next one is very similar so you just like sit and open it and just read and this was a dollar 79 and it's usually like 20 bucks so anyway i thought that was amazing so they'll just like open it up and just start reading and learning all these fun facts so the things you can find at thrift stores are amazing i love thrift store shopping because i don't spend a ton of money which we everything's really tight right now so it's very nice and um and you can find some like good things if you like to hunt for things if you don't like to hunt then thrifting is not probably for you but uh, maria gets us out of the house and so usually like once a week once every two weeks we'll get out and we'll go to this thrift store and it's really fun we it's like our fun day if we you know if my house is in order and everything then we'll get out and stuff so anyway so that's what we did all right so right now i'm editing my video which is really hard because number one i'm not very good at youtube and number two it's hard to listen to my voice as often as i do and it's like uh it's very humbling it's like oh wow okay depending on the video it can take hours and hours of editing per video some videos are not hours and hours some are you know maybe 40 minutes so it all depends on how good i am and at that video and how not good i am so um this one's okay so thankfully but um like videos like today this one where it's like a day in a life will be hours and hours so it is it is interesting um but i enjoy it it is fun it's just hard listening to myself and critiquing myself and like why did i use that word or why did i say it like that so it's much different than writing because writing you can like switch it all up and rewrite it whereas like when you say it there's many times i say things wrong and i didn't realize that and i didn't correct myself so anyway there's a very humbling part of youtube this is like my cross this is my purgatory is like listening to myself for hours on end um but it's okay this is what god's asking me to do so i do it as joyfully as i can um but yeah so this will take me pretty much the whole maria's sleeping hour um or she out she usually sleeps like two two to three hours so it all kind of depends and then i have like emails to get to and check on the website and put in um shorts for you know youtube and work on instagram i mean there's so much that like goes <laughs> goes into to this thankfully i have um quite a bit of help thanks to like patreon and stuff because i couldn't do it all myself that's for sure but i do what i can and give the rest to god i'm like god i know i'm not perfect at this but you're asking me to do it so i'll do the best i can and 
you do the rest, you know. So anyway, so I'm going to be doing this for probably the next hour and a half. to get out how was school today Good. yeah did you know I missed you I miss you every day you're gone <laughs> this guy's great at putting away dishes him and Thomas and Zach put away all the dishes Bella how do you like your new dress you love it Oh, very cute. Look at you. <laughs> Sisters. All right, so there's been a huge change of plans for tonight. So my husband has gone on a business trip, so he is not here. So um, I think we're gonna do stations across here. We, uh, I wanted to go to the church, but they actually don't have like a soup dinner after. So I think we're just gonna kind of um, go to Taco Bell because I have nothing ready for tonight. I just looked at the bulletin and realized there's no soup dinner tonight. So we're going to go to get the uh, beans and rice burritos, which are really cheap. And I've done that every once in a while on Fridays. So, um, so that's what we're going to do instead of the soup dinner. So I'm a little bummed, but I think it'll be fine. Um, the boys have trail life tonight, so we have to get them all ready to go to trail life bring them, Thomas has basketball practice, and then we're gonna go to church because they have something at church, and then we're gonna head home. So that's kind of the plan. What are we having tonight, guys? Taco Bell! Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yep, I highly underestimated. I thought that the church would have food tonight, and they didn't. So we are getting Taco Bell. And then, where are you guys going, boys? Trail life, and it's a cold, rainy night, and so a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Zach, what are you in trail life? I'm a red fox. Let me see. Oh my goodness, awesome. Go have fun. Okay. All right, friends, so that is the day. That's the day in the life. I hope that you enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless, bye.